Hi and welcome to One Grill. This video is going to cover the rotisserie spit slit sizing for a grill. The two main considerations in the grill are whether the grill has notches in the base or not. This grill does not have notches in the base. It causes me to raise the spit rod above this grill level and it causes me automatically to have to add an outboard support bracket. When I get into the situation where a grill base does not have notches it adds one inch automatically for this bracket distance over here uh, to the length of the spit rod. And in the case of this grill at 32 inches in width already, that automatically uh, is going to add about six inches and we'll see how we get to that. And uh, that's going to push me out of a 37 inch rod into a 45 inch rod. So how does this, how do these numbers all add up? Well first of all, your grill lid is going to be a little wider. So this grill lid is 32 and 3 quarter. We always round up so we're talking about 33 inches. We have 2 and a quarter inches with the standard bracket set to add to that. So 33 and 2 and a quarter puts us at 35 and a quarter. We like to have about an inch of insertion of the spit rod into the motor. That puts us at 36 and a quarter. Now we come over to the other side. We have about one inch for this outboard support bracket so that puts us at 37 and a quarter we just cross the 37 inch rod uh, length and then we need another inch for this bushing so now we're at 38 and a quarter and then we need a little more distance uh, about an inch of the spit rod length is used up in the collar counterbalance and handle length so now we're at 38 plus and uh, obviously uh, well beyond the 37 inch uh, length and so we've moved into a 45 inch length spit rod which usually is preferable anyhow because uh, now I can grab the handle, I can grab the rod here and I can remove the rod from the grill uh, staying out here where it's a lot cooler. If you keep your spit rod too close and too short and your handles over in this area then you're going to wind up grabbing the handle, you're going to need a mitt, and you're going to have to come inside and grab the spit here and remove it. So uh, sometimes you do, but uh, this is a much preferable situation if you can uh, accommodate. 